Welcome to this photo story based on the legendary novel about the Great Gatsby. Please turn off your phones and enjoy the story. Once upon a time there was an affluent man. He was not even rich. He was multimillionaire. His name was Gatsby. Jay Gatsby. And we'll come back to this enigmatic guy. We are in the Roaring Twenties after the First World War. Big, bigger, the Roaring Twenties. Wild and crazy parties. Last but not least, alcohol. Everybody was drunk all the time. It was crazy. And actually, crazy is not the right word to describe the time. It was crazier than crazy. And in the end, the government made a prohibition. No alcohol. But the inhabitants didn't care. They sold alcohol illegal. They were called bootleggers. The narrator of the story is Nick Carraway. He was a very well-educated man who graduated from Yale in 1915 and went to fight in the Great War. The life in the Middle West was tedious. Nick decided to go east and learn the bond business. He planned to stay in the east for several years, but he was only there for one summer. The story takes place in Westick. We will tell you about this alluring summer. Nick has a second cousin named Daisy Buchanan. She's unhappily married to her husband, Tom Buchanan, who has an affair with a working class woman, Myrtle Wilson. Daisy has an extravagant friend named Jordan Baker. A cynical young woman, Nick and Jordan starts a summer flirt. Gatsby spends a lot of hours at the dock. The green light means a lot to Gatsby. It is hope and his dream. The dream about Daisy to attempt her would be completing Gatsby's American dream. As the summer progresses, Nick eventually gets an invitation from Gatsby himself. An invitation to one of Gatsby's legendary parties. Nick learns more about his mysterious neighbor Gatsby, who called everyone Old Sport. Nick Carey meet Jordan Baker for lunch at the deluxe and very classy class hotel. Jordan starts to talk about Gatsby, who had a very intimate past with Daisy. Jordan tells Nick that when Gatsby went to war, Daisy met Tom. Jordan also tells Nick that Daisy has never forgotten the mysterious Jay Gatsby. When Nick arrives home at midnight, he sees Gatsby standing in the corner. Gatsby asks Nick to invite Daisy over for a tea party. Next day at the tea party, Jay and Daisy find the hidden emotion under the surface and digs him up. Jay invites Daisy and Nick over to his glamorous house, and that's when Daisy falls in love with Jay once again. And they dance the night away under the ceiling of Gatsby's extraordinary mansion. On the hottest day of the summer, Nick and Gatsby drive over to the Buchanan's house to have lunch at the very Puss Plaza Hotel. Gatsby persuades Daisy to tell Tom that she never has loved him. Daisy gets very upset and drives home with Gatsby. On the way home, they crash into Myrtle Wilson. Nick finds out that Daisy was driving the car. Gatsby spends the whole day and night waiting for Daisy to call him, but he waited in vain. Tom Buchanan informs against Gatsby to Wilson. Wilson gets very upset and goes to Gatsby's house with the intention of killing The morning after the hidden run, Gatsby takes a swim in the pool. He still believes in the good and Daisy and waits for the call. He stands on the edge of the pool when he gets shot by a suicidal and hopeless Wilson. In the moment, a phone rings. Gatsby whispers with a soft and pale voice, Daisy, and falls into the pool of death. Nick hosts the funeral, but no one shows up but himself, a fat man with glasses, and Gatsby's poor father who is very proud of what Gatsby has achieved in life. In the end, Nick decides to leave Westick because he is sick and tired of the posh and snobby people who live there. Watching the sequence of sounds coming out of your mouth But the snow